Hello guys, welcome to the second video tutorial on uh, text input with Kiwi. Uh, this is a continuation of the previous tutorial that I shared last week. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Um, so what we are focusing here is to have uh, user values from the text input being inserted into MySQL database that is running on our local environment through localhost. Uh, to begin with, the first thing is uh, to install mysql connector so um, of course i've installed it so i'm just going to give you a, a demo so just uh, using pip install pip install mysql connector so once you have that sorted of course mine is going to tell you that uh, you're using pip version okay no, uh, already satisfied that means i've already installed this so after that we are going to introduce um a new import so import my sql dot uh, connector then we can assign it a variable sql so that you can always refer to it using sql then uh, the rest we can okay since our target is to save these values in uh, my sql database so i've gone ahead and uh, created a database called um, dht okay it's an old database called uno that i was using before then inside uno i've created a table called users and you can see we have a username and password those two so we want to see how we can insert records into that table um just for trial so um initially we used variable num1 num2 because the goal was to perform additions so now let's change this one from num1 and call it maybe um username and here we say enter username and this one becomes password and password so instead of submit now yeah we can still use submit we can still use submit and we've passed this so this becomes username and password Still submit so here instead of this we can because we no longer need to do mathematical calculations we can just uh, pass them into variables so we can pass the variables to be um, maybe un equals to self that's username self dot username dot text and then um, pw for password equals to self Dot password dot text then once we have done that we can now call the connection we call the connection using con that's a variable con and we pass it sql dot this sql here will reference my sql dot connector okay so dot connect and we pass uh, the following variables host which is going to be our local host because we are running it on local server and then uh, the user of course it's a uh, root and then we have password password my local host um, is not running on any password well for the deployment we'll have to create a password and then we have database our database is called uno as you can see from php my admin here so our database is called uno so that that uh, those are the variables that are required for uh, db connection then we have uh, the cursor variable we can say it's con.cursor and after that we can now write our query statement we can say query equals to insert insert into users the table name is called users as you can see our table name is called user so this is the table that you're targeting so insert into users um, the user table has the following fields username and password so um, then we have the values just a string and another string sorry and another string then uh, once we are done with that, we can now uh, pass the parameters for the value. 
So val, val is just short form for values. You can use any variable. So the values we want to pass in that uh, in this section are un for username and pw for password. So un comma pass uh, pw. Okay. So now let us execute our query. So cursor dot execute, and then we execute in query and val. Okay. Then after that we commit. So con dot commit. And finally, we can now do con dot close. So that we close the connection. So once you've done that, uh, we no longer need this now. Okay. Um, sorry. So let's make sure that indenting is okay. Python is very, very indent sensitive. Okay, good. So I believe that should work. Let's do a quick dry run. Okay, seems okay. So check that. Do you have any error? Oh, yep. So enter the uh, user number, pass number. So we'll correct that. So username test. Just use maybe Bob password test one two three submit let's see if, uh, something was submitted oh so yeah maybe i need to do some error catch let's see if we submitted something to that table so browse yeah you can see the values have been inserted 